It's estimated that there are 300 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, which gets pretty terrifying when you consider that there are billions of galaxies in the universe. Each star has a different set of planets, rocks, and even other stars orbiting it, and each star has a different life. However, we know the basic life cycle of a star, and that's different depending on if it's a low mass star or a high mass star, but each one starts out the same, in a nebula. In this video, we will cover the life cycle of a low mass star. The star begins just as we discussed in my last video. The nebula spins and spins and creates a center mass, but before the hydrogen starts burning, it's known as a protostar, or a baby star. The protostar will stay in this stage for anywhere between 10 and 100,000 million years, depending on the size of the star. Once the hydrogen begins to fuse helium, it becomes a main sequence star. A star will live most of its life as a main sequence star. In fact, about 90% of known stars are main sequence. Our very own sun is a main sequence star. And for our sake, let's hope it stays that way for a long time. Because in about 5 billion years, a main sequence star will begin to burn its helium. And when the main sequence is all out of hydrogen to burn, it becomes a red giant. A red giant is exactly what it sounds like. Red and giant. It burns red because its outside layer has a lower temperature, around 5,000 Kelvin, whereas a main sequence star could burn as hot as 40,000 Kelvin. As for the giant, our sun will slowly get bigger and bigger as it burns helium, it will absorb Mercury and Venus and scorch the surface of the Earth, making it uninhabitable. Yikes. After about 10 billion years, the red giant will become unstable and its core will no longer be able to hold the outer shells of the star. The outer shells will separate from the core of the star and create what is known as a planetary nebula. In the center, there remains a white dwarf star. After a few thousand years, the planetary nebula will dissipate and be recycled into another nebula to restart the process. However, the white dwarf star remains. The white dwarf will burn for billions of years until it eventually cools and becomes a black dwarf, emitting no light or energy. At least, that's the theory. Scientists do not know 100% of the black dwarf star because we have never discovered one, but it is the most plausible guess given what we know. And that is the simplified life cycle of a low mass star. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Please drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Earth and Space videos. See you next time.